I'm Rizwana Bashir, and I'm the founder and CEO of Peak.com. Peak.com is a one-stop shop for travelers and locals to pick amazing things to do. So whether you'd like to go swimming with sharks or on an underground art tour, you're able to come to one place and you're able to book and buy all the things that you want to do. And what made you want to start this company? So I actually went on a trip to Istanbul and I ended up spending about 20 hours planning it all. I didn't understand why it was such a laborious process. That inspired me to be able to find um, one place, a one-stop shop, um, to be able to book activities and, and do it all in a click of a button. What is your biggest goal for Peak? We are one of the most uh, innovative companies in travel, but there's so much more to do. And we want to bring technology in to empower people um, to not only live more enriching lives, um, but also to completely change the way that these businesses operate by providing amazing technology to both parties. We're here today to talk a little bit about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And you come from a little bit of a math background, but also you actually, you were studying science previously. I was pretty fascinated at you know, how the human body worked, how the world around us worked, and so science was just um, really fascinating for me and I loved being able to study that. Do you feel like there's anything you learned then that you've brought with you even to peak.com? Thinking in a really analytical way, um, being able to be strategic about the information you're gathering and you know, the way in which you kind of figure things out and processes that you go down are just skills I think that end up being translatable to anything that you do. And so certainly here at Peak, I think there's been really, really important skills that I gained um, from that. Also, I'd say that having a strong math background actually helped me go and get my first job. A lot of the skills that I gained in that job also help at Peak. So it all kind of builds up upon itself. I think a lot of people think that fashion and science are mutually exclusive and you can't be fashionable and be you know a science geek what do you have to say to the people who think that way like loving science and being um, you know somebody who's curious about the world is incredibly attractive when I see women who have um, all of this great great intellectual capabilities that they can show off alongside their femininity and their style and it's exciting to be in an era where we're judged for much more than the way that we look but that we can still be really creative in the way that we express ourselves with our clothes. Do you have like a mantra that you like to live by? The first is, um, is, is an Albert Einstein quote, which is um, that he, um, he would say that he wasn't very special, but that he was just um, passionately curious. And I think the second one is about persistence. Often you're going to come across either criticism or resistance, or it's just going to be plain hard. And I think having persistence is really, really important. How do you stay persistent? You know, being able to know that you're creating something that's of value and has a really positive impact on people and that they're really excited to use is, is a huge you know, factor in keeping me very motivated. You must be just a travel expert at this point. I'm at least a little bit of a travel addict. What do you um, always have in your carry-on? So I probably overpack, I'm just going <laughs> to confess to that I now. mean, what girl doesn't? Yeah, um, my carry-on normally has you know, far more pairs of shoes than it probably should. Um, and then, you know, honestly, a lot of dresses. I love dresses, that's, that's kind of normally what I end up wearing. And, so and it's an easy outfit. Exactly. What is one piece of advice you would leave for women who hope to hold a, you know, place like you one day? Take risks earlier in your career than you think you should. Um, and that's because often I think we can play it very safe. When you put yourself in a position where you're going for something that's really challenging, you're gonna learn a huge amount. Don't ask, just do. You are definitely a fearless founder, so thank you. My pleasure, thanks for having me.